But people from the other day, I saw dozens, yes, I don't say dozens of videos that shows fights between students from many schools throughout the Caribbean islands and even the world. It made me wonder what's really and truly going on in the world. Why I'm seeing so much of these type of videos. See, I mean, I really and truly agree with these type of videos circulating certain places on social media. But at the same time, without some of these videos, certain situations wouldn't be brought to attention. No. So I saw a video that shows a struggle between at least one law enforcer from within the Bahamas and at least one student from a school that is located within the Bahamas. Yes, the video that I saw be recorded within the Bahamas. And it is said that there was a fight outside of the campus of a school that is known as Eight Mile Rock High School that's located within the Bahamas. Listen to this. So it is said that a principal said that uh, things escalated after school hours, causing him and a police officer to intervene in an attempt to stop what is said to be a fight. It is said that uh, several students was involved in the situation. It is said that the principal said that uh, the officer involved had to receive medical attention. It is also said that uh, students was behaving aggressive towards the officer. Now, my people, I consider that situation to be a fight between the police officer and at least one student because when I look at the video, the police officer was throwing punches. And I mean punches in aggressive ways, my people. You understand? And you can see where at least one student was retaliating. And it is really sad for me to be saying it like that, but that is what I saw in the video. And that's the understanding that I got from the video that I saw. It's sad. Now, one of the reasons why I talk about the situation is because uh, some persons might have seen the video and uh, might have thought about Jamaica. Yeah, I'm going to say it like that. But I want to make it very clear that the video that I'm talking about was recorded in the Bahamas. See? So that's one of the reasons why I talk about the situation. So I got the understanding that uh, police held on to at least one student that was involved in the situation. I said at least. The reason why I said at least is because uh, some information about the situation are somewhat sketchy to my knowledge. But I wanted to please bear in mind that it is said that a police officer had been injured. So there might be more to the whole situation than what I just explained. The video that I saw shows quite a number of students. Now what really and truly have me thinking is the way how quite a number of students that I saw in the video was behaving. And the struggle that may say between the police and at least one student because the video is somewhat a move mover about so I didn't clearly see certain things but we clearly see where there was at least one student who was involved in a struggle with the law enforcer and me see an adult with some something some type of object swinging it yeah the, the adult are swing it so i think you understand what that means So when I look on the law enforcer's uniform, it's dirty. Because them basically drop a ground. And the struggle was going on while them did their ground. It set away. I really and truly hope that the necessary authority within the Bahamas do something to make sure that something like this don't happen at all in the future. You understand? Let me know what you think. If you're new to my channel, don't be afraid to click the subscribe button. 
and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. I got information that two students of the Grange Hill High School that's in Westmoreland, Jamaica were shot and one of those two students died in what is said to be a gun attack in that parish. Let's make it very clear. I got information that two students from the Grange Hill High School had been shot and one of those two students died as a result of what is said to be a gun attack. Reports say that the students left the school during subscribers and they were traveling on a road when they were attacked by gunmen who were traveling on a motorcycle. So it is said that police have launched an investigation into that situation, my people. And there's also an allegation as to who might have been the target. My people, when it comes down to allegations, you know me is the kind of person I like for talking in the comment section. I tell you, we set away my people. Now, here is information coming from out of the United States of America. I got information that one student from a school that is known as Bowie High School that's located within the United States of America shot and killed a student at the school. Based on information that I got, it is said that the student who had been shot and killed is said to be 18 year old. Now some people might call that school the James Bowie High School in Harlington. It is said that police identified the suspect and the victim. However, police said that they have not yet recovered the gun used in the shooting. So up until this time I am doing this video, the information that I got basically said that police are trying to find the gun and are trying to figure out how the gun get there and certain things pertaining to the whole situation. Well, obviously an investigation had been launched when it comes down to the situation. So I got information that classes were cancelled on Thursday at the school because of the shooting or because of how the situation set. And it is said that police arrested the student who shot and killed the other student. Based on information, the student who had been arrested by police within the United States of America is said to be 17 year old. And it is said that the student goes by the name of Julian Howard. So it is said that the student had been charged with at least one count of murder. And based on information that I've been put out there by police, it is believed that the student had been shot more than three times. Another information that I got is that the police said that the student was shot five or maybe six times. And that officers say that they tried to perform life-saving measures on the student who had been shot while waiting for paramedics. And that he was taken to hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. It is also said that the suspect tried to flee the campus but police found him and took him into custody without incident. And that officials said police believed the two students knew each other and that Howard targeted the student who had been shot and killed. So it's a matter of people. What's going on in the world? What's happening? Them things are sad. Them things are set away. And you might have some people who are going to say, but well, at the first you hear something like this, it does not matter if it's the first. In the, in the first place, nothing like that should have never happened. No violence. Not supposed to happen. Ah, my people. I think here's where I'm going to leave it, you know. If you're new to my channel, don't be afraid to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. Until the next time, my name is Dancer Askila. Big up.